In our special report tonight, we focus on Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, or APEC. Members of APEC prioritize the preservation of natural resources as it is the biggest part of the Bio-Circular Green or BCG economic model. In the APEC meeting of ministers responsible for forestry, Thailand emphasized the importance of preserving and increasing green areas. Kunsandra Hanut Saha had a chance to speak to Wara Wutsilapa Asha, the Minister of Natural Resources and Environment, about this effort. Minister Wara Wutsilapa Asha. Now, we're here to discuss a very important topic. Um, that you chaired the APEC Meeting of Ministers Responsible for Forestry, or MMRF. Now, that concluded in late August of 2022. Can you tell us what is the significance of this meeting to the APEC member economies and also to the world? Well, first of all, the, uh, this is the fifth MMRF meeting since the beginning of it in Beijing. And uh, I think since the pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic, this is the first time ever since Seoul that all the uh, member economies actually gathered together face to face. Finally. Finally, um, in one big room and talking about all the issues and everything. And I think Thailand, we have been a very good host. Um, APEC has set a very ambitious goal at the beginning uh, to uh, have about 20 million hectares of uh, forest by 2020. And I think thanks to everyone, all the member economies, or 21 of us, uh, I think by now, I think 20, 2007 until 2020, uh, we have exceeded that target. Uh, we were aiming about 20 million hectares. Now it's about 27.6 million hectares. Wow. So by gathering here in Chiang Mai last month, I think it, it, it represents something. It actually proves to the world that, uh, you know, APEC, all the, econ all the economies combined, we, I think we have more than almost half of the world population. We have more than half of the green areas of the world in the APEC member, uh, member economies. So by all of us gathering together in Chiang Mai um, at the end of August, I think it uh, shows the world that we are trying to achieve and try to thrive forward uh, in terms of forestry, in terms of combating the climate change. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so what did Thailand propose at the meeting? Well, I think the most important uh, uh, issues is the biocircular green economy. Of course, uh, the, the, the gathering of all 21 economies will have exchanges and views from various members, and we can learn from one another. Some economies will have different atmosphere, will have different surroundings, different climate um, due to the geographical location. So Thailand, as well as uh, many other economies, can learn from one another experiences, difficulties, solutions. And I think one of the key issues that we are proposing is the biocircular green economy. Um, at the moment, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic, we have to move forward and try to somehow integrate the environmental uh, situation uh, into our plan in moving forward. With the global crisis, um, such as the drought, floods, you know, all the countries is experiencing it at the moment. I think um, the forestry is the only issue that's addressing the climate change directly. The biocircular green economy that uh, Thailand is implementing at the moment, uh, I think it, it actually address such issues in uh, as a whole, in a holistic effect. And therefore, uh, thanks to all members, everyone agrees with the uh, um, biocircular green economy, and that is the key issue and the key message that we are proposing. And also, we are combating against the illegal logging and harvesting of, um, of the woodlands, because, um, uh, and try, at the same time, trying to promote the legal um, of the uh, uh, of the the logging uh, industry because uh, we are I think the APEC member countries we are the heart of all the wood products merchandise and tradings and everything in the world so by promoting the uh, the legal of the harvesting and cutting down the trees for improving the economy and the wood industry I think in the way it will also promote growing the forest and planting more trees and while at the same time combating against the illegal uh, logging. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you give us some con concrete examples of the exchanges between the countries, maybe a few examples? Uh, some of the 
important issues is that different economies will have different ideas of how to deal with illegal logging, how to have the legislation, how to have rules and regulation, uh, because various areas we have different ideas and different culture. Um, we, we have to uh, somehow come together and make sure that everyone are of the same frequency. We are talking in the same, uh, in the same frequency here. And uh, because sometimes certain, uh, certain economy will have uh, one thing would be legal, certain economy would deem it to be not legal. So we'll have to come together and talk about what should be the, the baseline, what should be the, uh, the common practice amongst all members of the APEC. Now, the, the legal issues is, uh, is one of the very important issues in the uh, logging and you know, the illegal logging. Uh, trades. Mm -hmm. And so we'd like to know more details, of course, but we're going to keep that for part two of our interview. Of so course. thank you for now. Thank